hello everyone welcome to african note food i hope everybody is well today i have another request on how to make those tea. so here we have our ingredients here we have tosafi number one tosafi number two so this is tosafi number three this one we have our tomatoes here homemade tomatoes i have scotch bonnets uh, onion garlic and ginger blend and that's it here and here i have my onion here one medium size onion and here i have uh local beans uh at dawa dawa and here i have fish powder prawn powder here this is for and here i have um thyme and um curry powder or spice mixed spice and then i have prawn powder i have two uh prawn cube here that we're going to use for the stew okay so let's go ahead and start the stew and then i'll show you the ayoyo and the okra so here that. we have our sorted meat also that i have cooked already you know how i cook my meats on my other video the ayoyo stew uh video the teas and soup stew sorry yeah you know how i make my my meat here yeah? so now i have my palm oil here i'm using zomi oil it's the best one to use so i'm adding my onions yeah. i'm going to cook the onions for five minutes so our onion is done so i'm adding this uh, onion and uh, ginger garlic and uh, the scotch bonnet in there i'm gonna cook that one as well for five minutes So I'm adding one tablespoon of uh, tomato puree in there. That's optional if you like. If you don't like, you don't have to. And that one will be cooking for two minutes, two to three minutes. So I can add the rest into it. Also going to add my spices. I have my um, spice blend here. Curry powder, thyme, and prawn powder in there. So mix well. So I'm doing this before adding my tomatoes into it. I'm going to leave it to cook for two minutes and then I'll add my tomatoes into it. So now I'm adding my tomatoes. Yeah. So you can use any tomatoes of your choice. You can use tin tomatoes, puree, or um, fresh tomatoes. So this one was fresh and then uh, I steam it a bit. Cooked. And everything first before adding it to my my stew so I'm going to add a bit of water into it so that much water yeah okay. this thing. And leave it to cook for about five minutes and you can add your meat into it so this is it now I'm going to add my meat in it yeah So I have cow food, fried, and goat meat. Yeah. There it goes well. When you're making tozafi, all these assorted meats make it taste really nice. And we 
we're going to add also our fish out here or if you have geisha or even normal fish like mackerel you can use that as well yeah I'm going to add that one as well in there so so far i have not added any salt yet because my meat is well seasoning so i will taste it later and make sure that if there's no much salt or seasoning i'll add more salt into it or uh, one prong cube into that so while our stew is cooking i'm going to do my ayoyo and okra so i have frozen uh, ayoyo and then uh, normal okra that I have mixed together I blend them together and now i'm going to add uh, my dawa dawa into it and my fish here fish powder and uh, prawn powder in there mix them together okay so i'm going to eat on the fire like that and also i'm going to add water because it's quite thick so i'm adding water about one cup of water in there yeah and also i'm going to add bicarbonate of soda it's not bicarbonate of soda i'm going to have half a table half a teaspoon of it on here because i want it slimy as, as possible a bit too more okay then i'm going to stir like that and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes yes then i'll add my prawn my prawn uh, cube in there a bit like uh, five minutes i'll add this one into it oh wow look at this <laughs> beautiful <laughs> okay so i'm going to add my my prawn cube in there i'm using half of it because i don't want it to salty yeah. and i'll taste it if it's okay fine if it's not i'll add a little bit more into it oh i end up changing my pot because the other one was too small so our uh ayoyo in the okra is cooking it's almost done another two minutes and it'll be done so while it's cooking i'm going to do my my tozafi as well now this is our tozafi that we're going to make i'm going to add konkonte here i have sivi already and this one is uh ebrosam um corn corn powder yeah here yeah. i'm going to use that this is my first time using this i always use uh corn dough but I'm going to use this one to try and see how it goes. So I'm going to add water into this one first. One cup of water to make it a bit liquid. And then add it into my boiled water down there. So I'm going to show you how I'm going I'm to going do this. I'm going to add my cup of water in here. And I'm going to mix this together. You can use your hands if you like. Yeah, It will be easier for you. I'm going to mix it. Mix it until there's no lump in there at all before you do your your porridge here. Yeah? So now it's done. I'm going to here do my porridge. I have uh, a full cup of water. I'm going to add this into it and stir. If you have watched uh, my first video, you'll see that it's simple and easy to do. And yeah, look at that form already so when it's getting a bit thick just add a bit of hot water into it because you don't need it um, thick at all you have to be very very liquidy so this one is thick so I'm going to add water okay I'm going to add more water into it 
there then so i have added more water about a cup of water into it so i'm going to leave it to cook for five minutes and then i can start doing my my now the cocoa thing. is done the cocoa the porridge corn porridge is done so i'm going to take some scoop some out before i can put my corn corn tea because i don't need that much i will use it gradually into it okay so i'm scooping almost half of it so now i'm adding my corn corn tea into uh my corn porridge okay make sure you mix it really well and be fast about it okay so it doesn't go lumpy And when it's getting a bit thicker, you add more porridge into it. Like that. I'm going to add more into it. Because I want it soft, really soft. me doing this before so I'm sure by now you know how to do it okay. <laughs> so here is our tozafi finish done nicely look at this soft enough look at that look at this mm. Mm. Right, so I'm going to scoop it this shape for you to see let me see this one here and then this one like i like i like my sanka and then that's it and the rest i'm going to put them on a clear in a clear film yeah this is the rest yeah i have used clear film to wrap them properly nicely yeah so i'm going to dish this is my stew here and then that's the okra and the ayoyo i'm going to do some for you to see yeah second one and a third one Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. So I'm going to add also my beauty. Okay. So this is it. That says it. Our Kozaki is done. Here. I hope this was helpful to you. That uh, you try. Yeah. This was simple. It was easy as well. It wasn't too much all over the place. So do try. Let me know. And then uh, we'll see you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.